Hey, how you guys doing out there? Happy Sunday to you. Today is August the 28th. This is the day after my son's birthday. My boy turned 30 years old yesterday. Man, I am getting old. But uh, my daughter turned 30 two years ago. My son, my oldest son turned 30 yesterday. And then I got another son turning 29, and another one turning 29, and one just turned 27. It's crazy. I'm really getting old there. But anyway, I've watched episode 7 of The Resort. And boy, I'm telling you, man, whew, this is getting better and better and better. It's called La Petra del Matrimonio or something like that. It's in Spanish, so I... I I can't even pronounce the label of this thing, uh, the title, but I am loving this show. Uh, Emma, Noah, and Baltazar, and Lana search for Yucatan, search the Yucatan jungle, hoping to find Sam and Violet's passage. And this is, God, this thing is so good. I mean, there's things in this thing that, like, when it opened... You know, it took me two days to watch this because I've been doing 10 hour days and uh, that means I'm working two extra hours every day versus an eight. And then I'm doing it. I'm doing 10 hours on Friday because Friday doesn't mean nothing to me these days because I don't do anything. And so I work eight on Saturday. So I'm pretty tired. So I went to watch this Thursday because I was all excited. Ate my dinner, sat down, watched the beginning, which it says recap. Next thing I know, I woke up, man, I was like, it was 12 o'clock. Tried to watch it Friday and fell asleep. Watched the recap, woke up, and it was 12 o'clock again. And then yesterday, after I got off work, I watched it. And let me tell you, this episode, you know, Peacock really got a good series here. You know, I know everybody's on that hawk, that She-Hawk train. Uh... I'm not into that show at all. I know a lot of people's posting, you know, it's supposed to be some kind of, you know, attorney at law kind of stuff. But anyway, I don't, it's surprising nobody really is, uh, you know, really, I think a lot of people knew this was on and, and, and tried to give it a shot. I think they really would uh, really enjoy it. But anyway, I'm going to just hurry up here. Uh, I couldn't figure out who that guy was when they first started. When yesterday, when I watched it yesterday, I couldn't figure out who that guy was. And I said, oh my God, that's that girl's. Uh, uh, dad and then you know when he was talking about uh, when they went in that apartment when, you know what's your name woke up because he was on that beach and then uh, that that one lady that little that 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 one lady that, that's with him uh, I think it's I don't know if her name is Lana that might be her name I love her character but anyway they went in their apartment to try to find him and every time they went in there one guy went in there and then somebody knocked on the door and he ducked behind the couch and then it was that girl that's always with them, and then they were arguing back and forth in Spanish, man. So you're trying to watch the scene and read everything in Spanish. It was so funny, but I was reading it, you know. And I love the fact that they're actually using Spanish uh, language, and then we have to read it. I love that. And then, because um, I do it a lot of that with, uh, you know, foreign shows that I watch. You know, I just don't watch too many. I don't watch too many Spanish shows anyway, but, I mean, I see a lot of Spanish uh, stuff on when I see stuff, but, you know, I use that watch stuff from, you know, like, you know, just overseas, uh, like Germany and stuff like that. But this, this is, I love when they did that, when they was arguing back and forth. Then when they were arguing, somebody else knocked on the door and it was the long haired guy who I did not know who it was. And then when they raged up, they go, what are you doing? And then he says, wow, man, he says, and then they knew who he was. He was that girl's daughter. And then, you know, he says, man, time has not been too kind to you. You know, he goes, well, you know, they had some kind of exchange. But anyway, he says, man, I got this message and she doesn't sound like she's all, uh, I need to find her because she doesn't sound like she's right. But it was so funny when, when it showed her going into the jungle, it, it started playing her message back and forth, uh, you know, to the guy, which is the girl's dad. And it was so funny because, you know, she fell in the mud, her face went in the mud, and then, uh, you know, she she's she's talking. Then the, the phone she then the phone clicked off. So she had to restart her message. It's just the way she left that message. It was done so well. And then her husband went to go find her, and then it still was playing the message. But then 
they heard a helicopter. So, you know, they're both running trying to find out where this helicopter was. And then they ran into each other. And that scene was awesome. Because I love when she was covering the fact that, you know, obviously these people must be in their, this couple must be in their mid-40s. So, you know, that, that they got to be at a crossroads. And I love the fact that when I watch this show, I like the fact that, you could when they flash back to uh you know uh, Sam and Violet it, you know that is a, that is such a oh, fresh feel man when you're in love like that and you're so young and you just that that first feeling of that love is so pure man and and she doesn't have that anymore with him he wants to stay married but i think she she's thinking about being divorced and then losing that child you know she just that child, losing that child really hurt her. But then I like that. I also like the fact that she had that conversation with that guy that, you know, lost his daughter. And, you know, he has, he, has, he you know, he's got long hair and he's got all this beard and stuff. And she was talking to him about stuff. And she said, well, what do he, he said, I remember because she had, you know, I like that little campfire scene. Then, you know, she was asking, you know, what was the last thing you mean? He goes, I could see her talking to me, but I can't remember what she said, but I could see it so clearly. There is so many little bitty things that was in there. And then that argument that they had, uh, Emma and Nora, that was a really good argument. It was, it was very good because both of them was on point. She... Emma's role, she's playing her role down to T. Her facial expressions, the way she is. Noah, he's doing a good job because I can see myself. You know, I haven't been in a relationship since 2009. Uh, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I'm having, my life is just, I thank God. And, you know, I realize I really, I love women, but that's just an afterthought. But I can see myself being like him when I was in a relationship. And I can understand her perspective because, you know, she's like, you guys are treating me like a little kid. She goes, I just feel like everybody treats me like a little kid because everybody knows she lost her, her daughter. And then when she goes back, she, you know, from this vacation, she's going to feel like there's nothing to go back to. Now, she, you know, she played that role so good. And then, man, that toothache, that toothache, man, when she woke up, when, they, when he woke up and he, 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 she pulled her over and her tooth was swollen. And then they explained, you don't pull that thing out, it can infect and go to your brain because that's what that's the craziest thing about your teeth. It's connected to that head. But man, when he had to pull that thing and they said that they put them, they took them pliers and they said, and then that one chick, man, she took off because she was the fastest runner. There was so many little things in there that was just so good. But this thing hit on all cylinders. Yeah, and here, this is show is funny, and you know, oh, I wanted to bring this up. This show does not do no unnecessary love-making naked butt scenes, period, at all. Like that part where he was running, when he was running through, uh, the beginning thing when he's running through that pool and those little kids hit him, he hit him with some, with some, with some little, those things on that pool, and he goes, really? Seriously? You know, I... There's just so many little things in here. And then, uh, <clears throat> you guys, I cannot tell you how much I'm enjoying this. Thing. I'm asking you guys, what all did you see that was in here? There were so many little things in here. That campfire scene, though, when they were all sitting around the campfire talking, that was good. He pulled out the harmonica, and then that, uh, Baldur's Lord says, I'm going, to, I'm going to bed. And... Uh, and then they said, there's only, I like the part where they said, well, there's only so many tents. So they said, you two need to make up. Or, you know, because, you know, they had to go on that thing. But it was pretty cool because when they did wake up, he was on one side and she was way on the other. And I've been in relationships where I was with chicks, but they were way on the other. I knew something wasn't right. You know, I was like, this is, this is about the end, you know. And we all been there. But um, I've been in a lot of relationships, man, and I could relate. When I did date, I haven't dated since 2009, and I just, you know, I mean, I had a couple of dates I had prior to that, but they didn't mount to nothing, but I really felt what she was saying, and I really feel how he feels, you know, and they touched and all that kind of stuff, and I love how they went back and forth to the, you know, Sam and Violet's little, you know, because I'm still wondering what happened to them, but they really, I felt the love that they had, because that girlfriend that he had was screwing the professor at the college so he didn't have nothing there uh, I hope they bring his parents into play later on 
Uh, but I like when he explained that, you know, he had some wonderful years with his wife when he was trying to tell Emma about, you know, she goes, what about your wife? I hope that's not, I'm not asking you too much. And he was like, oh, she, you know, he, she had breast cancer and it spread it from her breast into her brain. And he just watched her, die, you know, he just watched her. But he, he was trying to tell her, he goes, I had her until, you know, she passed away. Uh, there's just so many little things, man, in this that just, it just, it just, it was just so good. So, yes. I am loving this. I'm, you know, in closing, I, maybe they could stretch this out to a season two, but the writers are really doing a wonderful job with this series. Peacock, man, I tell you, I love Peacock. I'm going to keep them. Uh, but the writers are doing a wonderful job, and I hope they continue to do the wonderful job because I feel like I'm on an adventure, and I love when I can sit down every Thursday and sit down and watch something after my long day because you know you guys I tell you all the time I work out four days a week and sometimes I even take a walk or sometimes I'll alternate a walk for a bike ride and when I get off work you know I usually get off work at 2.30 and I'm not getting off work to 4 so that puts me two hours behind on everything that I like to do so I'm not going to not work out the house clean kitty litter trash runs on certain days you guys know the drill y'all live a life come on but anyway whoo la Per 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 Del Mont Cha Manayo. I I know a couple of Hispanic people at work. They probably would say that like it. They, they would probably say that like it's nothing. I love how they putting these labels on here, man. They putting it. This is this is this is good, you guys. This is this 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 show, this show is so so good. I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to go back down in that hole now. I want to see what's down in that hole because, man, they look down. You know what's cool about Peacock? They don't give you, like, what's coming next week. They just leave you hanging. Boom. Until next Thursday, we'll find out what's down that hole, man. Woo! I know I'm excited. God bless and take care. You guys try to treat each other nice, you know. This world is crazy out there. Stay safe out there. We'll see you.